Hello students, your sovereign sir is back with one more new topic. Electrophilic substitution reactions we are on with, but now instead of benzene, we are starting with one more reagent that is toluene, or you can also name it as methyl benzene. I'll first take the nitration reaction of toluene. In previous episode, you have come across nitration reaction of benzene. So before you carry on your studies over here, I would uh, ask you to first refer that episode so that all the detailed mechanisms that I have explained over there, you are thorough with so that we can take the lengthy reaction straight away over here and not taking uh, or wasting much time in that mechanism part. Let's see. When CH3 is bonded on benzene ring, that is 1H of benzene is replaced by CH3. The compound is known as toluene or you can name it as methyl benzene. Fine. Let us perform nitration reaction. Now you know very well from the previous episodes that nitration reaction we require two reagents. One is concentrated nitric acid and another is concentrated sulfuric acid. If you are straight away joining this episode, I again request you to first go through the electrophilic substitution reaction of benzene that is nitration of benzene right okay all those who are tuning right from the very first episode they can just straight away get into it we have two reagents concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid we are undergoing the nitration reaction so now you know we require a nitronium ion and electrophile because we are still on with the electrophilic substitution reaction that is not the point of discussion. The point of discussion is the existing methyl group on benzene. You know, once the group is present on the benzene nucleus, it has got the directive effect. So whatever the incoming group is, is getting directed according to this existing group. Now here this methyl group is electron rich group. And so it is an orthopara directing group. And as a result, the incoming NO2 plus that is nitronium ion and electrophile will get directed on ortho and para positions. Fine. So let us see the reaction over there. Here sulfuric acid acts as a catalyst from the previous episode. You know very well. I have taught the things very, very, very detailed. Fine. So that is there. The temperature over here maintained should be 60 to 70 degrees Celsius. I regularly talk in the episodes that it is easy to remember in Celsius. You can convert it to Kelvin accordingly by adding 273. If you do so, this will be 3332343 Kelvin. So it's one and the same and the byproduct form will be H2O. How it is formed? You can check it at the previous episodes. So here the methyl group is an OP directing group. So it will direct the incoming in nitronium ion on ortho and para positions. So here you can see this is the methyl group. I'll write one more toluene because we have got to direct the NO2 on two positions. One is the nitro on ortho and another is on para. So this is your ortho nitro toluene and this is your para nitro toluene so you get a mixture of ortho and para nitro because the group is an op directing group now here suppose if i carry out further nitration reaction then is it possible yes it is possible it is definitely possible because the methyl group is electron donating group, nitro group is electron withdrawing group. So hindrance 
bulkiness such type of effects are not created on the benzene nucleus and due to that we can proceed with the further step in this case so here what i do i just again react the compound with concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid i'll react the reaction mixture at little bit higher temperature about 80 degree celsius to 90 degree celsius in kelvin you can say 353 kelvin to 363 kelvin fine if you maintain this temperature the further nitration reaction is going to take place as it happens so sulfuric acid will definitely act as a catalyst every step water will be byproduct so i'll write water over here i'll write water in this step as well now what happens in the previous step you have got a mixture of ortho and para you have got two components two pair uh, two it's a mixture but they are in the two different entities fine further nitration what will happen the ortho and para nitro both will be formed in a single compound that is what i'm trying to say is you will have benzene with the methyl group as it is but then the nitro group that is on ortho you will find it over here the nitro group which is present on meta you will find it on uh, the para position so instead of writing two compounds we will be writing a single compound giving both the nitro groups on their carbon atoms respectively which are those carbon atoms the second and the fourth one so accordingly i will name the compound as two and four because position is second and four for nitro they are two so i'll write di fine they are what two nitro groups so i'll write nitro and basically the compound was originally toluene so i'll write toluene so it is two four dinitro toluene or you can even name it as two four dinitro methyl benzene it's one and the same but the naming is also equally important at least you should name give at least one name to the compound so this is 24 dinitro toluene further suppose if i carry out further nitration reaction again with the same catalyst same reagent that is concentrated hno3 and concentrated h2so4 i'll raise the temperature to 100 degree celsius or you can say straight away 373 kelvin temperature if this conditions are maintained sulfuric acid acts as a catalyst and again water will be formed as a byproduct the mechanism i repeat you can check it at our episode where we have taken nitration of benzene part one and two Please check it. Fine. Okay. I'm not shortening, but as the reaction is long, I'm not wasting your time in explaining unnecessarily the same mechanisms. Okay. Fine. Further nitration carried out. You can see the methyl group is an ortho para directing. This is ortho position. This is para position on this side. But with respect to the methyl group, this is also an ortho position. And we have already substituted two groups over here. So I am just carrying forward those writings over here of NO2. And now you have on the left hand side NO2. And so further nitration will allow one more nitronium ion to get substitute on this carbon. And that is NO2 we are getting. So you can see interestingly we get two position, four position and six position. Three positions for nitro group. That is two, four and six they are three so i'll write tri they are what nitro so i'll write nitro and the compound is basically toluene so the name of the compound is two four six tri nitro toluene or it is also named as t n t in short in brief and this is used as an explosive tnt an explosive now you can see these are the three steps we have completed the nitration of toluene. Interestingly, the same nitration can be also carried out in a single step. Only in one step you can perform TNT from toluene. How? Let's see. I will perform nitration reaction. Everything will be the same. You can see over here. 
I'll perform nitration with the same reagents concentrated HNO3, concentrated H2SO4 as we took earlier. Now this concentrated forms are more concentrated so we won't say concentrated that's only a change you can keep in mind and that is your fuming F-U-M-I-N-G so I'll take fuming nitric acid and fuming sulfuric acid that's the only change with respect to these three steps and the temperature as you are taking the reaction in such a way that you want the thing or the product in a single step straight away without the intermediate steps right so obviously the temperature is to be raised much 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 higher at a stroke at a time in a short time and the temperature you need to keep in mind is 474 Kelvin that is you can simply say it is 111 degree Celsius as you maintain so 3H atoms straight away get eliminated from the toluene at positions which 2, 4, 6 because you know methyl is OPE directing. Okay. And the OH groups generated from the nitric acid over here. Fine. Those 3 OH because we are taking fuming nitric and fuming sulfuric. 3 OH group will combine with the 3H and that will give you 3 moles of water so directly in i would say in a single step you can generate tnt from toluene by just maintaining a little bit of change in writing that is instead of writing concentrated we will write fuming nitric and fuming sulfuric fuming what is fuming nitric and fuming you must be having question in your mind see these are the compounds where you can consider their concentrations much 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 higher than this concentrated form in concentrated form you have got aqua part your aqua part is missing water is not there so they are in their raw forms so we consider them not as concentrated but a superior or superiority form of concentration that is superlative term and that is known as Fuming. So if you take fuming, the reaction takes in a single step. If you take concentrated, the reaction occurs in stage-wise manner. So that is your nitration reaction of toluene. The whole I have explained in a simple uh, way. For the mechanisms, how this sulfuric acid and nitric acid react to form uh, nitronium ion and water, I again say, watch my earlier episode of nitration of benzene. Okay, wish you all the very best. Prepare well. This is your sovereign sir. We'll be back with electrophilic substitution reaction. But this time, this time with nitration. Next time will be with sulfonation reaction and that to a toluene. So I would request you come prepared with sulfonation reaction of benzene. Right? For any queries, you can question uh, or in the comment section of this video or you can write email to me styrene s-t-y-r-e-n-e 1411 at gmail.com thank you so very much have a nice day